This is your daily market review for Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. This is your daily market recap for Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. Interesting day all around. <clears throat> Want to start it first off, think about what's going on. Now again, everyone's calling for a Santa Claus rally, which I'm anticipating, and they're saying it's not happening, it hasn't happened today. Yes, we always talk about this 1,000% of the time. Timing is the hardest thing. So if you are playing options, you have stock, you know your max downside. If you have options, for the love of God, we hope you have plenty of time. One of the things that can be very difficult about the market as a whole in these seasonality times expecting things that are counter with the market perception is you just don't know when it's going to play out <clears throat> and so we have to look at the evidence now a lot of people are saying the evidence isn't bullish dan well it's tough to say such with certainty because i look at things and i say okay well if you're looking at tesla only and now maybe now apple starting to crack which is a red alert potentially yes but there are names as we've talked about materials boeing banks <clears throat> tons of other things that look bullish seasonality now again be, be aware there's tax law selling when does it end we don't know i wish i knew for example the exact date on when they would sell tesla well i think we may have picked the bottom in tesla today we'll see tomorrow we'll see things how play out but just be cognizant again anybody who's looking for certainty in a probability based game thinks that either they can figure it out hack the system or you're gonna have to cheat that's the only way to be somehow perfect <clears throat> and that just isn't the reality so Again, I appreciate all the love, support, and the understanding. Again, we're we're just trying to do the best we can. Spoon feed the best information we can. Is it always right? No. You know, so if people and again, I appreciate actually all the trolls too out there who are like, Oh, you're wrong here. And it's like, okay, well, we'll see what happens here. You know, I, I put I we put our plays on paper, try to help people. Again, ultimately you make the decision to hit enter exit, not me. You don't want to put responsibility on anyone else. And and again, if you make a mistake, own it. Don't blame the market. Don't blame Anyone you're following, don't blame circumstances. Like, just blame the reality of, like, all right, what a, being wrong happens. This isn't a guaranteed game. So, appreciate all the support. Took a few days off in the mountains. <clears throat> and let's get into it. Pay attention, please. Trying to post what's going on on Twitter. Again, talked about Tesla today. Talked about buying some spy stuff. Talked about, um, what else, AA Oh man, all sorts of little things. So let's just dig into it again. If you're newer to the channel, please, education, 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 education. I think one of the things about people who come into trading, who are looking for certainty, who say they're, you know, for example, the people who are frustrated with the markets, it's just experience. You know, I had this thought and it, and it goes back to like playing poker. And it's one of those things where you anticipate the odds to go in your favor. You get pocket aces going up against ace 10, for example. How many times will you lose that? Not very often, but it does happen. So you have to have in your mind like this preparedness that you're not believing you're just always going to win. And that's the problem a lot of people. They get into trading and they just say, well, I'm getting into this trade. I can't lose. Okay, that is extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Now, I don't know what to tell people who are like that other than that. That is going to be your downfall. This is what it is. All right, Bitcoin, we've talked about this. It just seems like dead money. I've said this for months. I've said there's just lower trends, downtrends, trending down, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I'll zoom out, show you. It, is it done forever? I, I don't have that kind of prognostication ability here. My guess is as good as yours. Now that we know, I mean, we've known the level. We know the levels. You have to hold the 16, 15,000 range. If not, I don't know the floor. I mean, I can speculate that it's somewhere in the, uh, I don't know, 10, 12, 8. I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter at this point. Like, hold here. It's the, you know, think of like Braveheart, Mel Gibson. Hold! Well, it's got to hold there. Oil. All right. Here we go again. Starting to get choppy, sloppy. Not surprised. And, and we talked about the reoccurring pattern here of December from last year. It just got into a holding pattern right 2021 sorry went too far back you had the bottom early december but then you had a pullback is that the pullback right here now or chopping just know this in the bottom of your heart the back of your mind spr refill there's going to be a floor 
Do we retest the lows? <sighs> Again, timing. I don't know. Thought about buying down here. Some people did. Congratulations. Now you're getting up. This is hard. I mean, you go from 70 up to, was it, 81 pretty quickly. Now what? Better watch out. Because, again, this is hard. To, and this is the thing I keep telling people. Like, people go, oh, the market's about to absolutely dump. Well, here's the first example of why it's hard to trust a market dumping if oil's rising. And it's not, you know, it's not these big five ten dollar up day candles, right? Like this, like where you should be scared. No, these are nice, genuine, like trending upward price action. So it's not market what I would consider like scary. Scary. Is it scary? No, it's it's pretty normal if things are looking potentially better. I'm telling you right now, everybody hates the market. I anticipate a recession sometime getting worse, but you need inflation to pick up a little bit more before the feds would actually start raising rates higher than expected. Like that's the big key, right? Because right now the market knows everything and the market can price that in. That's why the market's chopping. The market knows next year everyone anticipates a recession. Everybody knows what the market, you know, everybody knows what they know now. Like we need some new wild cards for the market to come, come in lower. Now again, temporarily, who knows? China something this. There's a there's a lot of things that could come out of nowhere. But again, at this point, the market knows, so it can price in. Hence chopping. And I'm telling you, new money, if it comes in and we stabilize, watch what happens with Apple, watch what Texas again, we'll get into it. We'll keep, let's get into it. Let's go. Nat gas has to hold here. Has to hold fives. If you're playing UNG, ugh, again, I hate deteriorating ETFs trying to like be perfect on them because it's just not easy. So hopefully you gave yourself some room and you got to stop. Yeah, UNG, tough. Tough donkey. Tough donkey. Uh, the dollar, we talked about it. Potentially being a novice gap bottom and chopping. Here you go. Maybe this is accumulation down here. Can the dollar rise and the market rise? Absolutely. freaking lutely Don't be in de denial that they have like this one-to-one -one correlation of negativity. Eh, no. It's just stability in the dollar. That's the key. The dollar is all over the place. China's blowing up, Japan's blowing up, Europe's blowing up. Yes, then the dollar goes, starts nuts and goes on a ripping up trend. Well, that's when the market's dumping. Here's the biggest wild card, TLT. Said this yesterday, this gap down to 100, did not see that coming. That's a big move, right? 10 points. You're basically the middle of the range now. Here, should we hold? It needs to. And here's another thing. If a recession is coming and the market is dumping... Typically, now again, typically, prefaces, interest rates are doing what? Going lower. TLT ripping higher. That's not happening here. So, another sign where confusion. Oil going higher. Why are bond yields going higher? If the recession's coming, why wouldn't bond yields go lower? Hmm. Again, dollar stable. Doesn't, again, dollar not ripping. So everybody who's in the big bear camp, I'm just telling you, like, you need more information. Now, now no one's going to argue that, whole, you know, gutting down from... 410 down to 380 is somehow bullish. No, but if you're starting to pick bottoms like we are in, in this range, the, the information is, is indecisive. It's hard. You would think the VIX would be spiking to the roof the way that the bears think the market's going to tank and the way Tesla's acting like it has no floor. No, it's holding pretty stable. Spy. Not the best clothes, obviously. <laughs> but it's not making a new low. It's just chopping. I mean, I mean, bears have been hitting me up all last week. Ah, oh, Santa Claus rally's not coming. Okay, but also the, whatever you want to call the, the ride to hell. I mean, what's the best, like, what's the intensity of the Santa Claus rally? The ride to purgatory in the market pain hasn't showed up either. It's just been chop. So it's hard to really celebrate either one. I mean, chop happens. And I'm telling you right now, the more that we hold here, at some point you're going to get a rally. You're going to get a rally because seasonality money. And especially if the market's calm and there's nothing crazy coming on. Q's. This is where it gets interesting, right? The Q's coming right back down to the range lows. Now, we've always said tech's a laggard. No one's, you know, again, don't get me, don't twist my words. When people are like, oh, you think this? No. Be careful with tech. We do not recommend any tech other than Roblox, which has been tight and in a dollar, two dollar range. And then Tesla today. We'll talk about Tesla again when we get there. Here we go. Tech holding, got to hold this 260 area. I mean, dude, could we get down to like the 255? Maybe. But isn't this interesting? Qs are not making new lows as Tesla and Apple, the biggest weighted holdings in the tech. Well, I guess maybe they're not the biggest anymore. I'm trying to remember if it's just Microsoft and Apple. But either way, red alert. 
bullish or bearish don't know for sure stop getting so like oh this market's got a dump here you go iwm is it back near the oh sorry dia dia here's another one is the dia back at the lows no it's holding that pretty well iwm now this is one that gets a little more indecisive right right back at the range lows talked about it lagging you need more information you hate to see it close here i mean it's just enough to scare the shiitake mushrooms out of you, but it doesn't take, it's not like breaking and emptying at the ultimate low, like, look out below. No, it just closes right at these prices, right? It's like a check raise or something. It's like, check. <laughs> oh, what's the river going to show you? Right? It's hard to know. Gold, I've said this over and over. Chop could resolve higher, could resolve lower. I Personally, the easy move was here and then closing out here. Good luck. Now, I believe in higher gold prices, long-term. Near-term, I don't know. I don't want to chase this and buy this. Hence why if people are shorting it, it makes sense to me with tight stops. What's the upside? I don't know. Let's look at silver. Again, gets up near 22. Eh, rejected. Just keep an eye on it. Let's run through the miners real quick. GDX. What do you see? Right? Lower highs? Mm -mm. Remember, miners lead the metals. Uh-oh. GDXJ double triple top i mean there really is they, they always say the joke there's no such thing as a triple top well you know what kind of there is triple bottoms happen here um yeah that you don't want to see that if you're a minor bull ag you've been red alert about this one for months something it feels like months weeks like this is wrong like this should be up here in the mid tens eh, wrong am i think this made a new high today or yesterday yep pulling back uh, it's hard to know is that a failed breakout newmont piece of crap Makes a lower high, back at the 20-day. None of these names really show you like, hey, gold looks like it's ripping to the moon. And here you go. If Jay Solstice is listening, give him credit. He knows the same thing. Gold bulls are absolutely losing their mind that gold's about to break out and go to new highs and everything. And then they know what's happening. Again, that, that's, that feels like a top. That's what I'm looking for in the stock market. Now it just might be near term, but we'll see. Leaving that stuff alone. AM Diesel, holding at the gap. Holding. Got to see what happens here. Micron, we talked about they had earnings. Tightening in action, novice gap, and then it's just three, four days holding tight, holding. T Taiwan semi, really wish we would have shorted this one in the 80s. <laughs> Didn't get it up, wanted a little higher. Greedy mother. But we filled the gap. No, oh, sorry, we're holding at, I mean, I guess this interesting area. 73 in the 50 day. Keep an eye on it. Remember, they're the biggest risk to me. I mean, that to me, any rip on up on Taiwan semi seems like an obvious short. Semiconductors, are we going to fill the gap? Now, here you go. If bears want to get excited about something, this looks bearish, right? Like taking out the lows from last week. Here you go. You're getting into support potentially around 195. I stopped out of Soxville today. I think it hit me at 9. Game over. Whatever. Got cash. We'll see what happens. Adobe. Adobe. Remember, know what you're willing to lose and stick to that. Chopping doesn't look terrible to me. Pops on earnings and chopping around does is not breaking. Okay, some tech looks better. Apple, here we go, culprit for problems. Red alert. Red alert, red alert, red alert. What do we say? You got to hold the 130s. But isn't this just curious? Not a ton of volume. You would think that candle size today would be like, look out below. But the truth is, look at support. I said this. Watch, 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 watch. You got support here in the mid-120s. Just keep that in mind. Maybe that's the trap. I, again, I, am I bullish long term? No, 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 no. But when stocks do this, they can rally. When they do this, they can rally. And they do this, they can bigger rally. I don't know if Apple. Now this is the key for the spy. We'll have to argue. No one's gonna argue that. The cues, everything. We need to watch Apple. It needs to be on your watch list. Check in the ten minute. Interesting action in the close. Had some buying on. Man, 53 million shares. That's, is that 50, or is it 5.3? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 53 million, isn't it? No, 5.3. It's a lot of shares. We'll see. I mean, keep that in mind. Keep in the back of your head. Amazon. Names we said, leave alone. Tightening action looks, doesn't look great. Now, here you go. Here you go. Tech lagging. Looks like crap, right? Problems. Bears, here's your bear fodder. Cannon fodder. <laughs> CRM holding at the lows. Mm, something not right there, right? Guggenheim. Ooh, Guggenheim. We talked about it filling this gap down here. Chopping makes a new low. Ah, you would think this would be getting absolutely dumped. The volume's light. This is the problem about holiday weeks. Light volume, manipulation, easy to move the market. The bear's getting so excited. It's like, 
We'll see. I mean, again, if I stop out and I lose, it won't be the first or the last time I ever freaking lose. I mean, it's just amazing how people get so married to having to win or lose ultimately when it's like sometimes you're just going to be wrong. <sighs> Meta, I mean, that doesn't look crazy bearish to me. I, does it to you? No, it's chopping. Microsoft, same thing. Retesting. Should it be breaking? Again, look at this wick. Look at the volume. Look at the price action. It's got a freaking $6 range. Light volume. Again, all these Q names. I'm just like, I have the 10 minute on the other end. It's like, last end of the candle. Hmm. Short covering? Potentially. NDAQ? I would think this would be in the 50s. Nope. Holding up. MicroStrategy? I mean, pff, buying more Bitcoin? I don't know if that's suicidal or heroic. We'll see. Coming back into the range lows. Watch it. Netflix? Didn't really pay attention to this one this much today, but I noticed after I was looking at again, I was on my other computer earlier in the day. Here we go. Interesting. Got a hold here. Got a hold. Holding. Roblox. At the end of the day, this thing was rising. I'm like, what the f is going on? I mean, here's Roblox, and you saw the cues, right? Look at Roblox. After the AM drop, it's just like, hmm, 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 holding up. Doesn't look that bad, right? If you've been buying it around the 27, 26 range, you don't, you're not, I mean, this doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look terrible. Now, is it ideal? No. No. Tesla, here you go. This is, we started small position, bought some 109, 110 today. Look at the volume, stopping power. Look at the volume, Jerry. Jerry. We talked about this in the AM. We talked about this in the AM. This action, now again, that's pre-market stuff. Here's the open. Zing, big volume. I can't remember the last time I ever saw a 15 million share 10 minute candle. Right? There's been some big ones near the lows. Well, no one's going to argue that. But zoom out. Last time you had one was a tight candle, and I'm pretty sure that was a 12, 16. That was an OPEX Friday close. Interesting action down here. If you change it to different time frames, check this out. Check it, check it, check it out. <clears throat> we talked about this. This feels capitulatory. Look at all the volume down here. Remember, 300 down. If you're shorting this down here and you're following the retail, I wish you the best of luck. I mean, again, did we pick the bottom? Potentially, we waited, 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 waited. What was the thing? People were like, how the fuck? Boop. Did you know today might be the bottom? Well, I showed, I dropped it on the Discord room. Look at every headline. Tesla, worst performance Worst performer, worst performer, everyone bashing, everyone's shitting on it. Oops, excuse me, YouTube. Everyone bashing it. I'm like, hmm. It, they weren't bashing it at 310. No, they were singing songs and writing freaking lyrics how Elon is the best man, best ever, right? Remember? Who remembers this? You can't, you have to own own the stock forever. Best stock ever. Meh, top. Now it's total trash. We talked about the novice gap yesterday. Now you got a two-day range. We'll see what happens. Now, again... Dan, what's your time frame? You holding this for long run? No, I'm not. Just looking for a counter trend. That's all. Maybe it, I mean, it could be just like this, 160 up to 200. I mean, 30, 40 points? Maybe back test this trend line? You're going to whine about it? If it's 144, you bought at 108, 110? I hope not. Jesus. Uh, materials name. Now, again, here's where it gets a little, little dicey. All right? Material names. Are they even at the lows of mid-December? Eh, no. No. New core, same thing. Guided down, guide, guide down. Holds, pops, holding, holding. Doesn't look terrible. Valet, green today. Hmm, interesting. Makes a new high. Things that aren't bearish. Now again, I love when people troll that because it's like, all right, I'm just saying, telling you what I see. Things that aren't bearish. Copper names, right? Like, don't you think it should be down in the 12, lower 13s? Eh, closes at 14. Even CCJ. Good old CCJ. Looks like it's rising to me. Okay, we'll see what happens. CF. A little bit of a disappointment, but now I have to update my charts now. This is back in my home computer. Hmm. I mean, we talked about it. You could expand this range out. Is And here's what I thought was very interesting, right? Today's novice gap, right? Today's novice gap. Is today the bottom? <laughs> Ag names were holding up pretty well. On a day where the market was down one two three percent cf candle what would have been what the big red big red gum no yeah, we'll see again i i don't know what to tell people sometimes like some of these names are more volatile this is what they do they go way beyond 
And they go way higher or lower than you think. But they usually go with novice gaps. And so here you go. Here's like the gap. Two day. Does it turn the other way? We'll see. I mean, ag names. <laughs> They're trash, right? Mosaic. Let's like go through all the evidence. Just back at the lows. And now again, these are major support here in the 43, 44. Talked about that. NTR. You would think this would be at 71 or 72. No, it's not. Holding up. We'll see. AA Aaron bought a little bit today. We were like, are you crazy? Like, look at this thing. It's holding up like a boss. If you re if you bought it down here, add it here. I was watching today. I'm like, hmm, watch this like mid 43s. You got all this. Let me draw again. It's it's easier to see intraday, but I don't, you know, I'm not going to pull it across. I'm going to show it on the daily. Top there, top there. No, not really. Candle bottom there. Candle wick there. Candle wick there. Another candle wick. I mean, it goes from four, up to 45, 50, pulls back. It's, it, it's only $2. Market is hitting the slopes. It's going to... It doesn't look like it. I don't know what to say to people. All right, financials. Oh, my God. Well, the market's terrible, right? Financials should be hitting the... Sh eh. No, look at that. Just chopping. Just chopping. Doesn't look that bad, y'all. Again, JP Morgan should be down $3 a day. Eh. Makes higher highs, higher lows. I'm telling you, troll me all you want, but look at the damn evidence. Watch the freaking videos. I don't... It, learn something. Now, Morgan Stanley, feeling... Testing the gap, the 200 day. Remember, we talked about this is the one I want to short. I got the alert set at 90. Do I get it? I don't know. XBI, right? That should be down three or four dollars. Eh, holding, holding pattern around the 78 level. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I mean, again, things that just don't really confirm it. All right, let's look at some solar names because these have man going on vacation. Missed that one. Talked about needing to hold here. All right, solar. No one's gonna argue that. Looks bad. Looks bad, near term. Doesn't, I mean, that doesn't look strong. ENPH, god damn. <sighs> the lower high. All right. Talked about it bouncing. There's your 20 day. Congratulations. If you got this trade, just watch 262. You can see it down here. It's this gap. It's the bottom of this wick. It's the bottom of this candle. Or it's the top of the, like, the start of the wick. Here, I'll just draw it for you just in case you can't see and you're driving. You're blind. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can see it right there. You gotta watch it. Right? Sorry, let me... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, you can see it. You, it, it is, it's where it bounced today. Sedgerton. Man, I think I'm more annoyed by this one because we saw this two-day range. It's like, uh, maybe 340 down to two seconds. Great trades if you short it again. I mean, we gave out some ideas and I didn't take them, but it doesn't mean you can't take them. First solar said, watch the 20 day. Hmm, look where it closed at 145 today. I mean, someone's saying, hey, I'm shorting for solar. I was like, I think today would be a day to take profit. Hey, cat. Not to push the short. Well, hopefully you did. We'll see, because that's a decent little rally here. Again, when the market closed at the low of the day, first solar, what, what the hell is it doing? Closing out the highs. <clears throat> Confusing. All right, we'll end it on oil, gas. You know our favorites. Try to make these videos quick. Talked about it, turning over a little bit. Look at the wick. They didn't close at the low of the day like the market did. Interesting. UNG. Trash, 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 trash. Look at this gap. I mean, remember, we're retesting the lows from on that gas from, like, December. That candle could be bullish. Just remember, this deteriorates. Be thoughtful. XOP. Oh, really want 129. Whales. Are, what, whale, all right, put the call ratio. 92 bought last week. It's 4.6. I don't care. I'm telling you, a ton of retails buying puts. It's way more been profitable on calls and puts lately. People are trading options way more than they used to. Cat, you are so loud. We'll see what happens here. Pulling back, hits the 200 day, pulls back. Now again, if the market was about to dump, oil's crap, this should be absolutely getting frosted. All right, you were just way too loud. I gotta end this video. Uh, Exxon Mobil. I mean, I think it made new highs off the lows. Yeah, yesterday, here you go, pulls back a little bit. I mean, th things that don't just look like it's about to head over the falls. Eh. Oxy. Chopping. Looks more like the XOP. Holding. EQT. Now, we talked about this name being a piece of crap, but this looks interesting to me because that long wick or long candle, now you're getting back into some zones. Auto zone. Sorry. Down here in the mid 30s, low 30s. And again, I'm not trading, but just watch it. PXD. All right, market's about to roll over. PXD should be at the. Uh, no. Now, people say, oh, it's a big red candle. But are we at 212, 213? I know. Okay. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm always here. Try to help. Can't, I'm not perfect. 
you want to sue me, you want to get mad at me, go right ahead. Just get mad at yourself because I used to blame others when I, they gave me ideas that I thought looked good on paper and then they didn't work out. Remember, you assume the risk when you take the trade. Like, that's just part of it. Now, if you're looking for the perfect mentor to follow and spoon feed you everything, well, guess what? Be prepared to drop ten to $15,000 a month, and then guess what? You're still going to lose. <laughs> it's too funny. All right, HYG, we'll end it on there. A little, little concerned, right? Takes in, taking out the lows, getting into the gap, though. We'll see what happens. Volume not epically big. Checking in the after hours ES. You're getting a little bonus time here. Yeah, got to hold like this 380. 3,800. All right. Love you guys. Be safe. Be thoughtful. Again, if you're mad, unsure, frustrated, take your profits. If you are if you bought Tesla, set your stops. If you're in certain names and you don't like them, get out. That's all I can say. Talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.